yeah, I mean, improving your situation is obviously pretty broad, but I think for a lot of us millennials and a lot of us people that are just in this age where there's like so many different distractions from your cell phone, really is, yeah, really I would say the cell phone and the computer and like Wi-Fi and Bluetooth is like what's different like between us and like a few generations back that like didn't have so much stimulus. But yeah, I would say for us, it's really the cell phone and just like normal distractions, friends, people that aren't fully in alignment with what you, it is that you want to do. And yeah, there's just so many different things that are pulling us in so many different directions right now. And in order for you to improve your situations, and in order for you to improve your situation, there's some key things that you have to grasp right now. I think one of the most important ones is learning to not be afraid of being alone, especially if you have certain goals and very specific goals that you know that you want to complete you know you have things that you want to see come into fruition that the average person or just other people might not fully understand right now. You guys know what I mean. If you're trying to build like a business and there's just someone who's just like not really in that mindset around you, pulling you in different directions, wanting you to go out right now or do different things like that, it's really going to make it hard for you to fully actualize a, like a, a goal, a goal, a goal right now. I mean, it's most likely going to take money. It's most likely going to take you being consistent in a certain direction. It's most likely going to take you cutting off habits that are like that are making you just a less potent person. It's going to take you cutting off the habits that are making you a less potent individual of like someone that is not fully themselves because they're so engulfed in things that aren't going to have positive compounding interest. Like you need to figure out what is going to have positive compounding interest in your life and stick to that. And this is something that I'm definitely learning to do and I need to continue to keep doing. So I think that learning to not be afraid of being alone is like one of the most powerful ones for certain people, especially myself and learning to not be afraid of and, and learning to not care when you're alone and learning to capitalize on your life and on situations on your own is going to help so much because the truth is the average person is not a multimillionaire. So the average person is not like excelling in a certain field. That's why it's average. And that's why excelling is going to always take. I'm just going to be honest. It's going to take ungodly amounts of time and thought and perseverance and learning to work smart and just so many different aspects of you. It's going to take the like the whole shebang for you to just transcend your reality. It's going to take the whole shebang thinking differently and moving differently. Like that's what it's going to take. So. So, boom, you're 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 OK with being alone. So that just cut off so many different things that would sway you away from your journey. It's Friday night. Someone's calling you to, to just come out and drink aimlessly. You shouldn't do such things. You shouldn't. I'm just going to be honest. If you have a goal you're trying to obtain, you just shouldn't do such things because unless you film nightlife 
like uh, like like unless you're getting paid unless you're going there to make content you do public interviews you're going to network you're going to like you're going with the intention in mind to to literally work on yourself while you're there like i've gone out no no drinks got water every single time and went out with the specific intention to learn to get better at speaking to people to learn to get better at holding conversations with people or to go and make content that i'm gonna post or whatever it is if you aren't in the situation that you want to be in the habit of going out and entertaining others is going to always and i mean always have you losing money i'm just gonna be honest losing money and losing attention you're losing your wherewithal literally through doing that you are making your focus you are making your intentions less potent and not only are you doing it to yourself but you are screaming to the universe that this is your lifestyle and this is what you do so the reason why learning to be alone is so powerful is because it automatically will put you in a position where you are listening to your intuition which is your greater good you are listening to your higher self because you are saying no you are learning to say no and that is powerful when you learn to say no for the right situations you're all like just try it for the next couple weekends just try it for the next two months the next three months to just learn to say no and like if you're going out do it with a purpose you don't need to go out because three to four people are calling you to go out you could just be like i'm just gonna go out and just take yourself out just take yourself out just try to just take yourself out go sit at a table on your own chat up people on your own figure out who you are on your own <laughs> you know and this is going to be really powerful for you to learn to start to get your pockets right to learn to start to do the right things um saving saving is so important because you are starting from ground zero we'd like at least the people i'm speaking to and myself like we weren't just born in a situation where our parents had it all or our parents were going to just give it to us all and there was no work for us to do like my parents didn't raise me in a spoiled manner and they're honestly i would say for today's day and age my parents are well off and they still just didn't spoil me they don't give me anything like for no reason they like they don't like i have to get it on my own still like a hundred percent and i'm not good at saving and i started saving this year and i'm realizing how powerful it is to get you to the next step like being your greatest version is you aligning your thoughts with that it's you 100 percent believing and acting like you are your highest version but the reality itself like where we actually are like this dimension is gonna test you and what you have to do is be excessively humble you have to be extremely humble you have to be extremely humble bro like i'm trying to literally tell you guys you have to be so humble in order to actually like make it out of ground zero like if like if you are starting from zero you have to learn to be so humble you have to learn to be so humble and like you have to learn to do the small things that we all know that you have to do you're gonna have to work and you're gonna have to save like to get out of ground zero that's just what you have to do 
Like if you want to build a build like a credit line and start to pay off your credit and learn to then start to get more money as like as far as loans and stuff like that, you can do that. But the only way that you could get started is by being humble, taking that taking that job as a driver at Amazon, the warehouse job and saving. You don't even have to save everything, but so many of us and even myself just don't save anything. How, how you save is by opening a completely different bank account. Open a separate bank account that you're not gonna touch. Me personally, I opened up a credit union and I opened up a personal bank account because I want to build a relationship with this credit union that I'm working with and I want to be able to get loans in the future for like business loans and stuff like that and higher forms of credit with this bank. So I want to build a relationship with them now. But anyways, I'm using it at first. The first stepping stone is saving. I'm using it for my savings and all I'm saving is 30% of what I make. So I still have 70% to try to invest, to feed myself, to go out on a date, to literally do anything else. I have 70% of what I make to be able to do like any risky, smart things I think are going to happen or whatever the hell. 30% is only going to this savings account and I swear it's making and is going to make a huge difference because I'm starting from ground zero. So you saving this 30% and watching that accumulate and then yeah, later you invest it again and do different smarter things with it. Continue to learn to be that that business like entrepreneur cool do your thing with it but i'm telling you guys just learn to do the small things learn to save if you're starting from zero all right and this is just how to improve your situation you know learn how to say no like literally learn to learn to save learn to sacrifice you like you have to sacrifice you and that's why I keep on saying you're gonna have to be humble because you're gonna have to learn how to sacrifice and this is what I like I'm realizing I'm gonna have to do there's some people might get lucky there like there might be a get rich quick scheme for some people some people can just pray and the money comes in but um at 26 years it years of age now and just like me trying to just believe it's gonna happen in some weird way just trying to believe i'm just gonna say something and then it's just gonna all come in i mean definitely like charm is real and like luck is real and being being good and setting out sending out good vibes helping out it definitely comes back to you but there is definitely a very strong aspect of it that just has to do with you doing the right thing and you taking the right steps and you being disciplined and you sacrificing and you working hard that is that is the main and most important thing and it's just the pill that we have to swallow if we want to really see ourselves excel and really get out of ground zero and I'm going to be showing you guys my journey and I'm going to be hoping that people like me or people that are people that just resonate with my message and what we're trying to do here and the better life and the better experiences that we want will follow, will like and subscribe. <laughs> so with that being said, y'all, how to start from zero, you know what I'm saying? How to improve your situation. Let's get it.